Have a great presentation, everybody, the great Dr. Roslyn Washington. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Again, so glad to be here. Okay. I'd like to start off by talking about um, the MIEE process. It has been an awesome journey. A little bit of my background, I am a former elementary school teacher. I taught for 16 years and I was a reading specialist. Now, as Jeff said, I'm a digital learning specialist for language arts and literacy. I also teach graduate level ed policy and research courses at Georgia State University. Excited to be a professional learning specialist for NCCE. It's one family. Let me tell you a little bit about another family, the MIE expert family. Some people might say, why should I go through this? Why would I put it in an application? Three reasons. You get an official badge, which is awesome, especially if you are into the micro-credentialing. You have an awesome personal learning network that you can reach out to and lean on and learn from. And it gives you quite a bit of street cred, I like to say, or credibility in the ed tech arena. As an MIE expert, I've had opportunities to present on the Microsoft Showcase floor at more than one conference. And when you're out and about, you have instant connections with other educators because you'll see each other and you'll recognize each other from the group chat or from the meetups or from the virtual chats, all of that. So you have great opportunities and instant connections. Now let's talk about how educators can build bridges with families using Microsoft Translator, because we understand that if we engage our families, we can empower our students. Let's think about a time or two when we've struggled to communicate with our families. And this might be uh, as simple as registration day, any parent-teacher conference, or in passing, Often families will bring a translator with them, but there are times uh, in passing when you want to communicate something, when they're getting their child from early dismissal, or when they came for the school play or the sporting event, and you'd like to communicate something to them important. So let's look at a few tools and a few ways that we can build bridges. The first of which is the Microsoft Translator site. It is an awesome site for parent and community communication. And it helps us create a more inclusive classroom for both students and parents with live captioning and cross language understanding. Let's go to the Microsoft Translator site. Okay, so that's translator.microsoft.com. And as educators, we would wanna click the Start Conversation tab. Okay, it wants me to log in. I'm going to log in as a Microsoft educator. Okay. All right, now it's asking me my name, Rosalind, and my language. As an educator, I'm speaking English. And look at this important note here. Are you using this product in a classroom? Yes. So then I'll click Enter. Okay. And what it's going to do is ask me for permission my microphone. Okay. And so because I have a mic going on elsewhere, uh, it's not going to use my microphone. These are my join codes that I would give to families. Families would simply come over here and go to translator.microsoft.com and they would join the conversation using these codes right here. Okay. If you'll notice, it has automatically started translating and transcribing what I am saying. So when a family joins, I'm going to copy this code here, and I'm going to place it in here, join conversation. Okay. My name is mom, and my language in this case is going to be Spanish. Okay. When mom or dad or anyone else joins the conversation that I'm saying will come up to them, will be transcribed and translated for them in their native language. You saw that they had a chance to choose their language and everything that I am saying will be translated. This is an awesome tool to have handy right there in your classroom on a Chromebook, right there in your classroom on 
a um, device and you notice that it's telling me, hey, you have company, someone has joined your stream, this is great for me uh, or you or teachers to have right there in their classroom, quick and ready to go. Okay? And again, the parent gets to choose their home language. Everything that the teacher is saying will be translated. Now, if you remember, we clicked the, the box that indicated we were an educator. And because of that, all current and future participants of this conversation have been muted. Okay, so they'll see translations of our speech, but this is a one way flow of communication. And that can help um, the teacher be able to get um, across their communication and um, their message. Okay, so again, that's translator.microsoft.com. Okay? And the teacher and the parent would go to the same website and they would simply indicate whether they are beginning a conversation or joining a conversation. Now let's talk about another part of that. A question that's often asked is, well, is there an audio? Will it read that part aloud? Will it read it aloud? Because we know that some of our families might struggle to read even in their native language. Not all families or parents are going to be, um, or caregivers are going to be fluent in their native language. This is when the Microsoft Translator app comes in. Very similar features, but a key difference is that it will speak aloud the translated uh, text. It has an audio component, okay? And so you would simply go to the App Store in Android or iOS, Apple, and download it. And this is what the home screen is going to look like, okay? So you have choices to um, text a message and have it translated. You have um, an option to speak aloud. You have an option to translate a um, document. You have an, uh, a, an option for a two-way conversation. But really most interestingly is this split screen. So this button right here next to the microphone where you see two microphones will allow your device to have a split screen so that you could talk or text and then a parent could be sitting across from you and they can hit the button and then they'll be able to hear response and they'll actually be able to respond and it will translate for you. So a great opportunity to have a two-way conversation right there. I suggest adding this to a device, even your personal cell phone, so that when you are in the carpool lane and you see a parent you didn't expect to see and you're able to talk to them about report cards coming home, you're able to talk to them about assignments, group work, something like that. This is great for your front office staff to have so that they can communicate clearly. It is a game changer and it provides an opportunity for equity so that our families who are coming into the Schools are able to clearly understand the expectations and um, the grammar of schools. So again, this is great for you to have on your devices, something for you to convey to the front office staff and share with your colleagues that they can have this, they can whip out their phone and they can have a quick translated conversation. Next are PowerPoint captions. Are you aware that teachers can present and have captions um, going across their PowerPoint? in the language of their choice. So let's see that in real time action. Going to exit out, going to come back over here. And I'm going to start at my landing page, okay? Because this is a part of the Office 365 suite and it's built in. So for my landing page, I would simply choose PowerPoint. Okay, and let's say that I'm preparing for the ninth grade success academy, all right? And I know that I will have a lot of parents there who speak French, okay? Or maybe I'm inviting all of my parents um, from a particular community um, to come in and take part in this particular, this particular um, presentation. So to add the PowerPoint captions, you simply go to slideshow, always use subtitles there's a drop down you are going to choose your spoken language which is english for me as an educator and then the subtitle language and in this case i'm going to choose french okay 
you also get to choose the position of your subtitle. And I would like the subtitles to be at the top because I know that parents may be sitting far in the back. And now I'm going to go to present mode. Now that I am in present mode, my captions should begin. Okay. I worked on this earlier today and they worked oftentimes, however, if my Wi-Fi is not as strong or robust as it should be, it may not okay. It may not pick up, again, just a facet of Wi-Fi, but if my Wi-Fi were stronger, you would see the captions going along the top here, okay? Exactly as we see it here on this demo slide, we would see the captions at the top. So again, just go to the slide show ribbon, select always use subtitle, choose your spoken language, the subtitle language, and then go into present mode and the captions will begin, okay? So this is great if you're having a parent teacher night. Again, if you're having a ninth grade academy, if you are having registration, if you are doing some of your wraparound services, I suggest you share this with some of those folk who work in our schools who provide those resources and who work with families in large groups. Next is my favorite of all the tools, Translate, which is built directly into Word Online. When you create or upload a document into Word Online, you can translate the document on the spot into any number of languages. Let's look at it and see it live. Again, I'm going to come back over here to my dashboard. And this is when I can go to Word online and it will pull up all of my forms, my Word docs. And so here, you'll see I have a virtual field trip permission form. Perhaps we are in a virtual environment at the beginning of school and my I'm having a visitor come in who's going to share something from the science center and I want parents to know about it so that they are all logged on at the same time and their kids have permission to be um, speaking with this expert on this topic. All right, so I've created my form. Next, I'm going to go to the review tab. And there I will see the Microsoft Translate button. You see it right here. I'm going to click Translate. And it's going, I'm going to click the tab that says document. I'm going to let it auto detect because I know that it will realize that my form is written in English or I could choose the language that it's in from auto detect to what language. Okay? And I might have three or four families that speak three or four different languages. So I'm going to do each of them. So for my um, two kids who speak Czech, I'm going to translate. It's translating now, it's taking the same document. And in under 10 seconds, it has translated this document, okay? So now I'm gonna click edit up here and it's going to save a copy and watch what it does. It takes the name of the document, which is field trip permission form, and then it makes the notation, this is the Czech version, okay? Let's do that again because I may have another set of families that I need to support. So again, here's the original science virtual field trip permission form. I'm going to come over here to review, click the translate button, document, and then this time I'm going to translate it from English to Spanish. And there's even a tab where I could say always translate to this language. And again, in under 10 seconds, it is taking this document and it is translating it into the document, into the language of my choice. The entire document has been changed. And again, editing in the browser allows it to save it for me under the original name with the hyphen for Spanish. Okay, all right. So that is an awesome, and they are saved right here 
in my um, group of Word docs. So that is also an awesome tool that we all need to keep in our holster, so to speak, for uh, use for our families. And it translates them on the spot. And you can even teach your kids how to do that, how to use these tools. So just to review, we have looked at Microsoft Translator website, the Microsoft Translator app. We've looked at PowerPoint captions in various languages. We've looked at translating Microsoft documents online into any number of languages so that we can engage our families and our communities. Because we know that by engaging our families, we are empowering our students. You've been listening to the TeacherCast Educational Network, hosted by Jeff Bradbury. Please reach out to the show with all of your questions on Twitter at TeacherCast or online at www.teachercast.net. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss any future episodes. And please take a moment to write a review in the App Store.